friends, how are you today? I hope you are happy. I am Teacher Marvin and I'm excited to be with you as we discuss the functions of the reproductive parts of the flowering plants. Please prepare your mojo, notebook, and ball pen. At this time of pandemic, people resort to different hobbies to pass away time. One of these is taking care of plants. How about you? Do you like taking care of plants? I'm glad you do. Kids, look at this gomamela flower. Can you still recall the parts of the flowering plant? Great! The parts of the flowering plants are pollen tube, stamen, under stamen are anther, and the filament. Then, the ovule, petal, sepal, receptacle, pistil, under pistil are stigma, style, and the ovary. Then, the pedicel. I appreciate that you can still remember even at these pandemic times. Take interest in learning more. Let's identify the following flowering plants. Rose, Gumamela, Bougainvillea, Santan. The flower is the most beautiful part of a plant. Flowers are made up of the same basic parts. Look at this picture. A flower has four major parts. Sepals, petals, pistil, and stamen. Sepals are green color. They form the outermost whorl of the flower. They protect the flower during its bud stage. All sepals together are called calyx. Petals are the bright and colorful part of a flower. They make the flower look attractive. Their function is to attract bees and butterflies, which help pollination. All petals together are called corolla. Stamen is the male reproductive part of a flower. It has two parts, the anther and the filament. Filament attached to the base of the flower at the bottom and holds another at the top. Anthers are knob-like structure which produce pollens. Pollens are the male gametes. Pistil is the female reproductive part of the flower. It has three parts, the stigma, style, and the ovary. Stigma is a sticky knob-like structure. It is present at the top of a tube-like structure called the style. Style leads into the ovary. Ovary contains the female gametes or egg cells called ovules. This time, let us discuss the function of the reproductive parts of the flower. First, we have the anther. Anthers are the orange or yellow structures often seen in the center of a flower. Its function is to produce and contain pollen grains or the male sex cells. Filaments are the hair-like stalk of the stamen which bears the anther. Its function is to support the anther. Stigma 
is the sticky or feathery surface on which pollen grains land and grow. Its function is to receive and capture the pollen grains. Next is the style. It is the slender stalk of the pistil that the stigma sits on top of. Its primary function is to connect the stigma to the ovary. Ovary is the enlarged basal portion of the pistil. It produces and contains the ovules which develop into seeds upon fertilization. Ovules are the structures in the chamber of an ovary containing the egg cell within the embryo sac. Its function is to carry female gametes and become seeds after fertilization. Petals are the highly colored portions of a flower. Like nectar glands, petals may contain perfume. It attracts insects and birds and other pollinators. Sepals are small, green, leaf-like structures located at the base of the flower. It protects the flower bud. This time, let us check your understanding of the reproductive parts of the flower and their functions. Directions Read the questions carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer then write in your notebook. You will be given 10 seconds to answer each item. All set? Let's start! Here is number 1. It holds the answer. A. Stigma B. Filament C. Ovary D. Pestle B. It is the filament that holds the anther. Number 2. It catches the pollen grains dropped by the insect. A. Stigma B. Filament C. Ovary D. Anther It is the stigma that catches the pollen grains dropped by the insect. Number 3. It connects the stigma to the ovary. A. Stigma B. Style C. Ovary or D. Anther B. It is the style that connects the stigma to the ovary. Number 4. It produces and contains the ovule. A. Stigma B. Style C. Ovary or D. Anther C. The ovary produces and contains the ovules. Number 5. Its function is to produce and contain pollen grains. A. Stigma B. Style C. Ovary or D. Anther D. The anther produces and contains pollen grains. What is your score?
If you got five, very good. Three or four, good. Two and down, nice try. You can do better in the next exercise. Directions. Examine the illustration of the parts of the flower. Using the illustration, fill in the table with the necessary data. You will be given 20 seconds to do this activity. Are you done? Great! Let's check your work. Based from the table given, the male reproductive part of the flower is the stamen. The stamen consists of anther and filament. Then, the female reproductive part of the flower is the pistil. The pistil consists of stigma, style, and the ovary. Kids, I know you did well in this activity. Keep it up! Here is another activity to enhance your understanding of our lesson. Direction. Identify what is described or defined. Write your answer in your notebook. You will be given 10 seconds to answer each item. Number 1. Which part holds and catches the pollen grains? A. Anther B. Stigma C. Ovary D. Style The correct answer is B, stigma. Number two, what part of the flower connects the stigma and the ovary? A, filament, B, stamen, C, pistil, D, style. The correct answer is D. Style. Number three. What part of the flower produces pollen grains? A. Anther. B. Style. C. Stigma. D. Ovary. The answer is A. Anther. Number four. It attracts insects and birds and other pollinators. A. Sepals. B. Petals. C. Pestle. Or D. Stamen. The correct answer is B. Petals. Question number five. Its function is to protect the flower bud. A. Stamen. B. Pestle. C. Petals. D. Sepals. The answer is D. Sepals. How many correct answers did you get? If you got five, very good. If you got three or four, good. If you got two and below, study more. Great job, kids, for staying with me. 
We are now nearing to the end of our session. Today, you learn about the function of the reproductive parts of the flowering plant. The flowers may have different shapes, sizes, and colors, but they have the same basic parts. Kids, you can now review this video through our YouTube channel. Search Aral TV, Lady Division, click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified of the latest uploads. I hope you learned a lot from our discussion today. This is your teacher Marvin saying, Science is a magic that works. See you next time. Stay safe. Goodbye.